Lions during 1988. Lane catching close quarters to capture Kendrick Lund's attention. And help the 49ers capture their third world championship. Second yard line, 39 seconds remaining. Back to throw Montana. Stepped up throw. Afterwards, <laughs> my younger brother says to me, he said, uh, he said, congratulations. He said, but I want to say something. He said, imagine how you would have felt if you would have dropped that. He said, you'd probably have been the loneliest person in the world. <laughs> Taylor has remained humble, a good quality considering he plays in the shadow of Jerry Rice, pro football's all-time leader in receiving touchdowns. Jerry obviously gets a lot of publicity, and, and deservedly so. He's the best, if not one of the best, you know, receivers in football. John is a great player in his own right. Rice's presence has helped Taylor to become outstanding because when there's double coverage on Rice, Taylor has just one man to beat. And that's why the Taylor-Rice duo can have a dizzying effect on defensive backs. It has to do with having single coverage. Well, who are you going to double up on? There's only so many defensive backs and so many nickels and dimes and quarterbacks you can put in there to cover these guys. Uh, so I think the package of him and Rice is just too much. It would, it would scare the daylights out of any uh, rational defensive back. And I think John Taylor has the ability to shift, to uh, look like he's going one place and go the other, and that's an art in itself. To beat one man is a stupendous skill. And then you have to have that confidence when the ball comes that you're going to go all the way. And uh, believe it or not, some wide receivers don't have it. They assume they're going to get tackled, and I think John Taylor assumes he's never going to get tackled. He does a great job of breaking tackles. One guy's not going to tackle John Taylor. You know, if he catches a slant or a quick pass, he can break anybody's tackle in the league and turn into a big play. He's an outstanding player. John Taylor's a guy that all you want to do is put the football in his hands. You know, here's a guy that I still don't know how fast he can run. I don't think that I'm fast. I just have deceptive speed. You know, I, if I can get a step on you, then in my mind, it's like, hey, he's after me to hurt me. I got to get away. He has those long strides, doesn't look like he's moving fast, but he's flying down the field. And then when you get to him, he's so strong that you can't bring him down, or you can't hold him. One-on-one, -on -one, it's a lot of times guys have a perfect coverage on him, but he's so strong, he can get away. He has a great stiff arm, whereas when people are coming to him, he can just lock out and just stop them right in their tracks. I mean, you don't see that on wide receivers that much. He's just tough. He's like a fullback playing wide receiver. The way he moves, no one can grab him. He's there, you see him, but everyone misses him. And I don't know how to describe, unless you've seen it firsthand, that that's the most unique thing I can say about him, but I don't even know how to describe what it is. After building a big lead against the 49ers in 1989, the Rams also found it difficult to define what makes Taylor uncatchable. In this contest, Taylor scored from 92 yards and 95 yards, becoming the first player in league history to produce two 90 yards plus plays from scrimmage in a single game. Joe, a slant into Taylor. Taylor breaks the tackle, cuts across the middle, breaks another to the 30. He's down the sideline. He's to midfield. He's to the 40. He's got a blocker in front of him. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. It's a touchdown. In 1991, Taylor added a 97-yard reception to his list of achievements. It's the longest play from scrimmage in team annals. And from behind, sends it way downfield. Taylor made the catch. It was coming. He breaks the line. He's to the 40. He's to the 30. Down to the 20. He's being chased by Sanders. He'll get there. Touchdown, 49. The 49ers call their two-time Pro Bowl receiver, JT. It stands for John Taylor and just terrific. NFL Monday Night Magazine is brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer.